Hey guys, welcome to Homesteading Through Our Eyes. Today we're going to talk about our farm stand progress. getting ready for a month or so now for the farm stand and we've had many tasks and many chores and worked very hard so I just wanted to show everybody what we've been doing to set up for the farm stand. Uh, the first thing we did was start making this cedar fence. I had went into the forest and got a lot of dead and down cedars. Uh, there's, I don't even know, 50 on the property and only about three or four live cedars. So I figured I'd put them to good use. They look very nice aesthetically. They're very strong. They're very weather resistant. So I figured I'd go ahead and make the fence with that. Um, I also added a stone wall. I was cleaning out the front here for parking area because we were doing our research on the market aspect of a farm stand and they said one of the most important things is to have easy access for vehicles. That means in and out and you can see um, with the U-shaped driveway that we had once you pull out you can't really see because there's a bunch of bushes that overhang even after I weed whack them down it's still kind of a nuisance now they pull in, park alongside of the road, you can see up the road, down the road, you're good to go. Uh, as I said, started off that conversation with the stone wall. That gives it a nice aesthetic look. Um, did I mention the sign? We also made a sign, farm stand coming soon. Need to pop out a little bit, a little artistic. One of the biggest tasks we had was putting up the gate for the driveway. I wanted to block off the farm stand and be able to still allow access for the car to get in and out. Can you see all of that? What I did was put dug holes in the side there, about three to four feet deep, and installed six by sixes into concrete footings, and then took an eight foot two by four that had well, a circular cylinder that had been sliced to kind of look like a two by four, um, and attached that to the six by six and then took old barn wood and placed it up as well as the cedar posts I made the arms for those and attached those along with the 10 foot cedar posts with the cedar overhang did the same on the other side this thing is very sturdy I didn't want to put these into the ground because we have a driveway here and it's all rock and I didn't want to ruin the driveway. So that's why I went with the concrete on the sides. But this thing is sturdy, good to go. And it's very, very nice. We've got many compliments on it already. And I think it just gives the whole area a very nice, uh, natural, maybe, What's the word I'm looking for? Rustic. A rustic look. And along with the cedars. And we are also matching our little farm stand, actual farm stand that's going to hold the vegetables and the produce out of cedar as well. So it throws everything together. We have the cedar along the wall in the back. We have the cedar posts for the gate I guess I'll call it I'm gonna eventually place brackets on the cedar put the 10-foot cedar posts and make a swinging fence 
so that it's still a wall, but it still allows the car access if we ever need to do so. To touch on the farm stand, uh, as I said, we're making it out of cedars to match everything else. And I plan to make it a bit smaller. I'm going to cut out the posts in the back and just make it a tiny little box just so the size of the farm stand doesn't overtake the size of the wall and it doesn't look too big in here. So uh, we'll make another video on the farm stand. Keep posted on that. Um, I also wanted to touch on one last thing that I forgot over here. We all, I also designed this fence so that it can slip out of the screws that I placed in there and it can be moved out of the way to allow access for a car. Plenty of room. Sometimes I have wood chips dropped off here by a big truck and I wanted to be able to still have access to get closer to the garden. So, um, we have a few hours or an hour or so of light left and we're going to still work on the farm stand a little bit. So, I'm going to head out to do that now. Thank you very much for watching and stay tuned to our progress and check out our farm stand in a week or two. Hopefully we'll be opened up and running. Uh, we'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Take care. Peace.